Okay, in case you missed out on part one, I demonstrated my replication of PMMG4 Hybrid's uh, version of Howard Johnson's linear magnetic motor patent from 1979. I also pointed out that uh, Scorch GD has already done a replication of this, and I went through some of the basics of how this thing is constructed and put together. That said, let's move on. Okay, let's get right to answering the question of whether we can hook two of these tracks together. Definitely not in this configuration. Okay, but what if we added some magnets in the middle and turned it into one long track? Eventually it just kind of winds down. But what if we used a larger banana-shaped magnet made out of N52 Neos? And similar results. Now when I built the tracks exactly the same and lined them up with the dual magnet configuration, this was the result. So I went back to the original configuration. The only way to uh, get this through the track with the added uh, magnetic field is to increase the mass. And by increasing the mass, it makes it more difficult for the cart to go further. When you have a uh, space between the two tracks, it simply kicks the cart back because of the repulsion at the entrance of the next gate. If you add magnets between the two spaces here, all it does is wind down as it gets to the end of the track. After part one, uh, YouTube user PMMG4 Hybrid shot me a really nice comment and a suggestion that I use a uh, new metal for the shielding underneath the magnets. Uh, I happen to have uh, some of that laying around, so I thought, why not give it a try? The results were, it definitely works much better. Much smoother transition, less bumpy. It won't jump from one track to the other, but definitely a vast improvement. Not to take away too much of the mystique, but this will also work just as well without the banana-shaped configuration of magnets. You can just put regular neodymium magnets on here, and it'll work just as well. Just make sure that you apply the proper weights, because with neodymium magnets in this close proximity to a magnetic track, it'll bounce off here pretty easily. Or you can just make your own custom shaped banana magnets. This one here actually worked better for me than any of the others I tried. And as you can see it's just kind of thrown together out of several different magnets and uh, scrap pieces of metal I had laying around. You can even use these uh, Alinko magnets like I found in a hardware store. There are just numerous ways to configure and design these. So thanks to uh, PMMG4 Hybrid for the uh, initial design idea based on the Howard Johnson linear magnetic motor and to 
Scorch G for making his replication interesting enough that I would want to give a go at this. Thanks for watching.